Let's talk about what exactly is Microsoft Viva Connections, all right? I'll try to be as brief and as direct as possible to answer this question. Now, Viva Connections, first of all, is part of a family of Viva products. It's got, you got Viva Connections, Viva Insights, Topics, and Learning, four different ones. Viva Connections is what I'm talking about here. So Viva Connections is a way to bring your SharePoint-based intranet directly within Microsoft Teams. That's the main, main thing about what Viva Connections is. It appears as an app directly on, on your left rail of uh, Teams. Let me just quickly show you exactly how it appears. So here it is. As you can see, this is Microsoft Teams. And in Microsoft Teams on the top left, I see it says Visual SP, our company name, and our intranet, which it's a fake, fake intranet in this case, uh, appears right here. All right, so my uh, Viva, well, my uh, intranet for my company is appearing directly within Viva Connections or through Viva Connections within Teams. That's basically the main thing. Within that, whatever you want to show on your homepage of your intranet would appear here. So in here, I got my main news over here. <clears throat> uh, that's a company news. On the right, I got the news that is for me. So it is using audience targeting of SharePoint to show me the news that's relevant to me, which is awesome. And then down below, if I keep on going here, uh, it would have, here we go, my recent sites, my company events, anything that's relevant to me using audience targeting is showing me that, all right? So that's in a nutshell what it is. Now, a couple of caveats here. When I do searches, I can go over here, click on this and say search for something. So Contoso, see it shows me, hey, you can do a, a search for Contoso throughout Teams. That's what this is gonna do by default. But the second one here says search in Visual SP Perspective. Visual SP Perspective right here just happens to be the name of my app, which is showing Viva Connections. So it's saying that if you do that, which I'll go ahead and do, Let's see what happens. I'll click on this and it's gonna open it up in the browser, all right? So the, uh, the experience changes, please remember that. It's going to my, uh, my intranet and it's doing a search over there, showing it to me in the browser. Let's come back here. Another thing to remember, and I actually I'll go there again uh, in, a, in a second, is that in Viva Connections, when the SharePoint intranet is being shown over here, your intranet experience is a little bit different. Uh, you see the icons on the top right over here? These will not be there when you go into the browser. I'll show you that in a second. Also, your sweet bar on top is missing. It's not there. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to click on the uh, go to website icon, top right. Takes me to the same intranet in the browser. All right, and here's, here's the uh, way it looks. The sweet bar on top that's available throughout Microsoft 365. This does not appear in Viva Connections. And also the icons are different. Well, there is no icons here. It's, it's uh, not following and share is what it's showing over there was showing the icons. Uh, so those are some of the main things to remember about Viva Connections. There's a lot more that I can answer, but I just wanted to try to be as concise as possible. Still turned out to be longer than I planned, but hopefully that gives you a perspective from my point of view as to what is Microsoft Viva Connections.